guys, so it's really late slash early. You know that time where you don't really know whether or not you should describe, like, it is early or late because you stayed up all night, but at the same time, it's morning. Yeah, well, that's that's basically what it is right now. I've been working on a project and everything, so I didn't have time to sleep like usual. But I thought I'd make a quick update and um, just about a few things. Um, I recently uh, went on to, I look like crap, so I'm just trying to, like, ugh, you know, here, don't even look, at, here, just look at that part of my face, I have, like, dark circles, <laughs> um, no, but, um, I, uh, I, I recently just clicked onto my page, and I have noticed that I have 13 subscribers, which is crazy, because that means at least five more people had to subscribe to my channel, so the fact that you found me interesting enough to click that button thank you that that means a lot especially since I'm like 55 videos in and you know I mean I do this for myself but it is nice to know that people are listening or at least trying to listen or not completely zoning out so thank you to my 13 subscribers if I ever got to like 100 I'd do some kind of cheesy giveaway something or other um yeah <laughs> That would be fun, right? Like, you can have something from my room. Oh my god, what the fuck? There's so much shit in my room. I'd just be happy to give you, like, half of it away. Like, half of it to you guys anyways. Um, but yeah, uh, besides that, besides having beautiful followers, or I, I keep calling them followers because of Tumblr and, and subscribers, besides having beautiful subscribers, um, I also do a sub for a sub, so if you are subscribed to me and you would like a subscription back, just let me know, and, you know, I'll... I'll obviously do that for you. Um, I guess, uh, just recently, I guess two new things, three new things have been up. Obviously the presidential election. I have tried to make a video on that like four times, but I either came off too nice or too angry and I couldn't find it in between. Um, as you know, in America, um, what well, it was the presidential election and it was super close extremely close. I think the popular vote was, uh, for Obama just by 3 million or a little, little over 3 million. And, uh, the electoral votes were heavily divided. I would say like with a hundred, uh, I think it was 303 to 203 difference. And that's pretty big, but, um, I'm really happy that Obama won. And it's kind of sad because like being involved this time, I've noticed that people get really rude when their side does not win. And we have a lot of nutcases here in the United States saying they're going to leave or they're going to start a revolution or all this crazy stuff. And it's like, you know, if we would have lost, which I really thought the Democratic Party was going to lose, I thought uh, Romney would be in for sure, especially since he was campaigning for six years and um, and spent over 80 billion, I think it was, 80 billion on his campaign, 80 billion, 80 million, some big ass number. Um, I really thought he was going to win. Um, but yeah, but you know, either way, who, if, if Romney would have won, then, you know, it still would have been divided and we still would have had people talking about how doomed it is. It'll blow over in a little bit, but let's just hope that, uh, change is going to take place for the better. And let's put faith back into our country and our people. Cause even though you may not have faith in the president, it's the people that truth truthfully makes the decisions. I mean, look at all the other choices that have um, been decided upon. Medicinal marijuana, I think, was legalized. Okay, this is kind of iffy because I've been hearing so many different things from so many different uh, sources. But I know marijuana was legalized in Washington and Colorado for recreational purposes, which is huge because even though it's going to take a while to enforce because it's obviously illegal federally but not state law anymore, um, it's huge that it's legal recreationally in the United States. That is the first time thing. Um, that's, uh, and you know, gay marriage, I think was legalized in three other States. I, I know Maine and Maryland. I'm not sure. I keep hearing Minnesota, but I swear that they just decided not to ban it. I don't think they legalized it. Um, I'll have to look more into that, but, but for the most part, I think that our world's becoming a much more loving place. And if not, um, and if, even if you don't agree with gay marriage or whatever, your uh, people have obviously uh, started leaning towards understanding that others should have a right to decide for themselves. And I think that's actually what won Obama the election. I think that oh, uh, Obama made a huge, strong, strong, strong so, uh, social case. And Romney, he lacked the social case. He made a strong economical case, but... 
uh, people this time decided that social changes were more important. Um, you know, Romney obviously had the whole self deportation, the, you know, um, so he, that, that nixed him on the ethnic vote. Uh, Obama had the black vote. He had the liberal vote, um, slash democratic vote. He had, um, uh, the women's the women uh, women accounted for sixty percent of the vote this year, so he had the women's vote because you know Romney was obviously there was a whole um, shutting down of Planned Parenthood idea running around, and you know the obviously the birth control contraception all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, I think the people finally decided that uh, social change was more important, which makes a lot of sense because if you look at it in the last eighty years, what we went from a depression to a surplus back to uh, economical hardships. So money always fluctuates. The economy always changes. But social issues, when they change, they change. I mean, black rights change the world for good and permanently. And, you know, I think people are starting to realize that more social change needs to take place. Um, but aside from the presidential election, uh, another thing that was kind of funny that uh, I guess I could update you guys on was the fact that Donald Trump, who I think both sides can agree, both Democratic and Republican sides can agree that nobody wants to hear from Donald Trump. I mean, the guy is batshit crazy. Definitely not a good representation of the Republican Party. It was fun. It's fun, kind of funny because, like, Donald Trump used to be this big billion dollar name. You put it on the side of the building and it meant powerful and good. And it does not mean that anymore. It means funny and kind of eccentric, if you ask me. And that's kind of why I don't think the Republicans ever like they they took his money, obviously. They used his money to help for endorsements. But I didn't hear anything about Donald Trump's you know, his name wasn't splashed to help support the Republican Party. And that's because people know that he's crazy. And on the election day, uh, he made, I think, a total of 14 or more uh, tweets about how we need to start a revolution or make a civil war or wa uh, walk on to uh, Washington and blah, 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 talking about how it was a travesty and we're not living in a democracy and because he assumed that the popular vote was for Romney and Obama still won. But this was obviously before all the main states were counted. So he ended up being wrong and deleting about 90% of his tweets. Um, so yeah, there was that little crazy bit that uh, people of course saved his tweets. So if you guys want to find him online, they're, they're pretty fucking hysterical and a lot of news stations are making fun of him. So um, yeah, Donald Trump, uh, he's going to probably end up filing for bankruptcy, bankruptcy again. Uh, so yeah, we have the election, Donald Trump. And then I guess just with me update wise, this sort of long video, sorry guys. Um, wow, I'm getting more awake. This is helping me. <laughs> uh, update with me. Two things really happen. One is I'm starting to notice that I'm losing weight and it's really nice because I, uh, I used to try so hard and now I'm not trying at all and I'm, I'm losing it and it's, it's really nice. And I'm noticing it through little things like towels that used to completely, f like we have small towels and they didn't fit around me and now I can fit them all the way around me or certain clothes are getting loose or, you know, it's a, it's a great feeling. I like it. And, uh, the last thing was, is I went on, on, f everyone knows Facebook is turning to complete shit. It's like a mix between Twitter and Tumblr and all this bullshit. And, you know, like the pages that you liked are now posting pictures every five seconds and it's just flooding your newsfeed. People aren't talking anymore. They're just liking bullshit pictures. 1000 likes equals one prayer for a child with cancer. Like shut the fuck up. But I stupidly, stupidly, stupidly clicked on one, which was Amanda Todd, kind of like a meme. And this guy was just like, Tra uh, you know, trashing her. And I went on and, you know, I'm dealing with friends who have committed suicide and um, friends that have depression and a multiple uh, amount of other reasons, including reasons of my own where, like, I don't think suicide should be, of a, of a girl should be, you know, bashed. Um, I went on and said my bit and I got harassed big time. If you guys want to see some of the tweets, I actually, or not tweets, you know, replies, I saved them on a, on a picture file. So I'd be glad to upload that and show you the douchebag who sent me a bunch of rude things. I didn't say anything to him. All I told him was that he looked like a 30 year old man. And I was wondering why he was asking for pictures of my boobs because he, that's what he was, um, doing. And he flipped his shit on me. Like, I guess calling him 30 years old, even when he's 37, was somehow insulting him. And he flipped his shit, called me a whore and all this, you know. Uh, and I, it's kind of funny because for just a, a split second, I kind of understood what she went through. Because this guy was fucking nuts. Um, but yeah, so the good, the bad, the ugly. Ugly being Donald Trump.
Um, <laughs> so yeah, thanks uh, for subscribing to my channel. Hopefully I'm not boring you too much, but hey, you know what? Uh, I get off in a month and I get to go up to Minnesota and travel a bunch. So hopefully my videos will be a lot more fun. And I can show you around different places and roll around in the snow. <laughs> All right, guys. So sorry, I'm moving around a lot. Wow, I'm crazy. This is a 10 minute video. If you've made it this far, you get a free candy bar and a kiss from me. The candy bar will be a little late. I'm delusional. I'm going to bed or doing homework or doing both. Is that possible? <laughs>